Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside Heroes of the Pacific from the World War II Lock and Load Tactical Series from Lock and Load Publishing. This is, again, in the World War II set in the Pacific. Uh, you notice it's one difference here in the uh, Heroes of the Pacific is the font has been altered instead of the, um, the cargo font that's normally used. It's a nice Asian font, very pleasant. Uh, but everything else is lock and load tactical to the core. So, well, I assume I haven't opened it. This could be Yahtzee inside, for all I know. Let's take a look. You get the nice, big, thick, three-inch box. Uh, get all the beautiful artwork that you come to expect, and we'll see what else is inside the case here. A big cutting knife. Okay, let's pop the lid and see what we get. Alright, so as always, you're gonna get a couple of dice, red and white. Here we get the module rules and the scenarios book. It's a little thinner than some of the other ones. Uh, it's been a more focused campaign. In fact, it's the smallest one I've seen so far. It's only 40 pages. It contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 scenarios. Uh, interesting. So these are full color. Very nice. Great artwork. Um, very thematic historical artwork. Um, Make sure I'm not showing anything horrible here. So you get your order of battle, which maps to use, how to set it up. Uh, in this case, there's a playable area difference for the different scenarios, the 12 different scenarios in the battle. Um, one thing they do show you here is, so far it's been every one, hopefully it's in this one too. Yep, scenario information. So the scenarios in the book are laid out in chronological order, but then they recommend scenarios for getting into the action. So if you've played the Lock and Load Tackle system before, you know the rules, you probably don't have to do that. You can just dig right in and start playing. But if you uh, if you haven't, then you can follow this. It'll introduce you know concepts gradually to you. Uh, start with infantry and then add some add some tanks, maybe add some planes, uh, so on and so forth. So. Anyway, so you get the module rules and scenarios book. You'll get the World War II era core rules manual. This will come in every World War II uh, or in a game between 30 and 59. World War II era. If they ever do Korea, you would get this manual as well. Um, it comes in, it's also full color. It's very well laid out, it's indexed. Section numbers, uh, it comes in about 68 pages, I believe. 65, 66, 67, kind of cover 68. Again, full color, lots of graphic examples, very easy to use. Okay, so you're gonna get a rule book. This tells you how to play the game. This tells you the special things for Heroes of the Pacific. You're gonna get your maps. These are the regular maps. They do sell X maps, which have much larger hexes, which are very, very nice. I wish I had gotten those. I forgot to request those. All right, so we're gonna take a look at some of the maps. These are, this one appears to be single-sided. Map 31 is a beach, beach map. Got one little lonely hut there. And then map 30, also single-sided. Little village, mostly rural, some little light jungle. And let's see what we got here. We have map 29, also single sided. There's like a little river, lagoon, or something in there. And then hut, a little more dense. We got a mountain, map 32. It's got a big old hill. You have to have to get into terrain, the elevation there. So this is a hill. Or is it a valley? The hill is a valley. Uh, and then we've got one more map here. Get it out. 
and this is definitely map 38. It has uh, jungle, and then an open stretch between. Ooh, some interesting options with these maps. So we got what one, two, three, four, five maps. All right, and you're gonna get three sheets of counters. First sheet's gonna be mostly. So you got mostly uh, uh, units, and these appear to be the Americans. You got two different uh, badges, badge types, so you got two different squads. You got some cave markers. So you can look for Batman, I guess, in there. And then some armored vehicles. And as always, these punch out really easily, right? Pre-rounded. A, a couple of nubs here, but they don't really get in the way. Very durable. These are seven eighths inch counters for the uh, for the vehicles. And then the weapons teams are three quarter, and the uh, regular units are five eighths. So they're good sized counters. Very chunky. Uh, easy to use. You need to pop back in the grid if you need to. Then the sheet here that's got mostly markers, right? And we've got tunnels we've got to deal with. Okay. Caves, okay, bunker, star shells. Got a uh, G4 M Betty, a D3A Val, and an A6M Zeke. Some planes going here. Got wreck markers, you got turn initiative markers. And then we got the Japanese forces. Alright, and we have our um, we have our uh, uh, hero um, hero and leader uh, abilities markers that are on here. Uh, the more uh, than the uh, words of battle here for the Japanese forces and snipers. Leaders definitely not a counter dense game, which is good. It's gonna be easier to easier to get out and play. Um, the Japanese armor, event markers. All right, you're also gonna get a rule reference card. It's double sided, double wide, and this just gives you a quick iconogra iconographic rules reference to remind you of different things and how to do it. Once you know the rules, you'll refer to this a lot more than looking up looking up stuff. If you even have to do that. But I found I like to use this one a lot. And you got the skill reference card. Skill reference card, which is Oh Wow. I'm sorry. My observation about the skill reference card in most of these games is it's too big, and this is the first one where it's like just one sheet of cardstock. Normally it's normally it's double and there's a lot of wasted space. So here we have a skill reference card that is one sheet of cardstock, double-sided. Oh, I like this. Yay. So anyway, sorry. Little, uh, little nerd there. Uh, so these tell you uh, what the different skills and abilities allow you to do. So you will refer to that. And we've got the like this, the player aid card. Is your direct fire table for the Americans, direct fire table for the Japanese. It's the first time I've seen that they've had different ones for the different forces. It's interesting. Uh, your terrain effects chart. And then your direct fire roll, die roll modifiers, and ordnance fire table in melee. Very cool. And then uh, all these really nice glossy cards done. So, you know, coated, very durable. Sequence of play for Heroes of the Pacific. Different phases. Some, some rules, more rules references if you need them. And then the uh, weapon ammo and, tur and targets uh, uh, chart that allows you to uh, not have to pick up your counters on the board. You can just refer to this and get the weapons charts and then some reminders of using ordnance. And then finally we have uh, a turn track. And this turn track actually tracks turns and victory points. We saw those victory point counters on the back. 
of, uh, of some of the star shell counters. So obviously you can gain victory points in this game. Each game, Black on the Tactical series of learning is not is not cookie cutter. It's not here's the rules. Let's make some scenarios. I mean, they really think about uh, how they're designing each each game. They think through the scenarios, uh, the special cases, the you know the the modifiers, and then for instance, this game, you know, tracks victory points, whereas other games don't. So it's a good system. But once you learn the core rules, then you learn the scenario the scenario elements. So anyway, enough editorializing. Here is the Pacific. Lock and load. You're going to get a turn track. You're going to get a sequence of play, weapons, refresher. You're going to get a player aid card with a terrain chart. You get the leader abilities sized properly on one sheet of card stock. A rules reference card. Three sheets of excellently pre-rounded Easy to punch, very nice thick counters. Five maps, the World War II era core rules manual, and the module rules and scenarios manual for Heroes of the Pacific. Two dice. And that is what you're going to get in Heroes of the Pacific by Lock and Load Publishing, part of the Lock and Load Tactical Series. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!